here's the next installment of what it's like to go to war. And on this video, I want to challenge you to remove every possible variable that you can right now before you actually end up in war and in your first firefight. I've talked about this in other videos. There is so much going on. There are so many senses of sight and smells and sounds happening around you. There is so many factors from so many different levels of the battlefield, from the ground and from the air and over your head and even from space now that war is overwhelming. Even to the most experienced warrior, a firefight can still be extremely overwhelming. And very few people can comprehend the amount of data that's coming in all at one time. So my challenge is to eliminate every possible variable and you must do it before you go to war. Now the whole reason for this video series is to prepare people that have never been to war what it's going to be like to be in your first firefight. But in this video I'm trying to challenge you there are some things that you can take uh, off of the plate right now. For example you should never have to wonder can I actually hit what I'm shooting at when I fire my weapon you should have this absolutely locked in in training long before you ever get to a combat theater let alone get into your first combat action meaning marksmanship is one of those things that you must take off of the that one of those various variables that you must take off the plate before you ever get up over there the last thing any human being wants to wonder is if i pull the trigger will i actually hit what i'm aiming at so leaders warriors you can't go too far in preparing yourself to be able to fire your individual weapon and to be able to hit what you're aiming at but another is your fitness level and i mentioned this in other videos but war creates chaos and confusion war brings fear and the famous quote fear makes cowards of us all means that base or that fatigue makes cowards of us all means that when you get tired that fear can become even more overwhelming so physically being ready for the next fight and that may be on the side of a mountain in Afghanistan at 14,000 feet in the bitter cold and in the snow up to your waist it may be in the jungles of Central America or South America it may be thousands of kilometers into the desert in Africa or in Asia no one can predict where your next battle might be but what you can do today to get ready for that battle is to make sure in any environment in any circumstance make sure that you are physically ready you are trained and fit enough to be able to fight the enemy no matter where they're located no matter how difficult the circumstances and then there's some very basic skills of a warrior that everybody needs to know like some basic first aid some basic communication some basic maneuver skills I'm just simply saying listen while you're in training remove every possible variable that you can so you don't even have to think about those variables when the bullets start flying because there is so many other factors going on that you don't have the brain space and I don't have the brain space nobody has the brain space to focus on the the little simple uh, variables as well as all of the variables that the enemy or the the situation is throwing at you so today in training long before you ever get into a combat theater and long before you ever get into a firefight remove every possible variable that you can by training so well that you don't even have to think about it this is not just what it's like to go to war but this is a little bit of preparatory advice for you long before you ever find yourself there thanks for watching god bless Thank <laughs> you.